LVI Lolo's large vessel interface, lift on, lift off. The idea of how do you move material between ships. The goal was to go after a uh, crane technology for lifting and moving, moving material. And the early work led to the idea that you could, you could do something like this, uh, like moving material, 20-foot uh, containers in support of sea, uh, sea basin between ships and sea states up to sea states before. So that's something we cannot do today uh, as a matter of operation. So the effort was to create the technologies that would allow that to happen in the future. And we've been successful. It, there are different ways of uh, moving things by crane. There's sort of um, uh, more of a stick crane where you, uh, the arm goes out and there's luffing boom and then a cable hangs down to some payload. With that, you can really only control the up-down, but the side-to-side, -side, those two uh, translational degrees of freedom you can't control at the end of the cable. You can't rotate your payload because there's no actuation at the end of the cable. So the idea here was you needed a lot better control. What they've effectively done is come up with a mechanized marionette puppet. So um, if you look at, so technically it's macro-micro, the macro crane is your arm, the micro is your hand. Uh, going down to cables to the payload, very similar to how you would make a puppet dance. So the six degrees of freedom that, that you achieve with a marionette, say, is you have cables going down that can move your, your puppet and you know, this way, this way, up, down, turning, all kinds of rotations just by moving your hand. So they created that architecture um, using uh, mechanical systems, hydraulic, electrical actuation, and um, very tight controls as to how it played out. And so that's really the architecture, just envision a marionette puppet and we basically have it. So the architecture that we have is able to move 40,000 pound loads in uh, 20 and 40,000 pound loads in the C-State 3 or C-State 4 down to less than an inch uh, accuracy. So it can actually set down this 40,000 pound, 20 foot, eight by eight container down onto container blocks that are only this big and just set it right on them, even with the ships moving significantly. The way it does that is um, it actually watches the other ships. We have sensors between the ships. Uh, phase space is what the sensor system is called. It consists of um, LED lights with unique signal, signature signals. They're, uh, frequency of um, blinking is actually captured by an array of digital cameras and that is then used to understand exactly where that other platform is. So you start up, you calibrate your system every morning and then you can just use it. You know exactly where the other ship is and by definition then you know where the deck is on the other ship in order to, um, in virtual space, set it down. So the original concept was more of a gantry crane that would allow access to every portion of the cargo on the hold of the ship. Um, that was deemed to be a little too intrusive on a ship architecture. Uh, let's go with more of a pedestal design. The original effort that went into the gantry actually was created into a 20th scale model. The, when the pedestal approach was taken, a new 20th scale model was made to have a, sort of a generic approach that they could try out different control systems. That gave enough knowledge to then go to actually a third architecture, which was again put into a 20th scale model, and um, further development was based on this scale model. A lot of the actual components that would go on the ultimate large scale demonstrator were tested in a s small scale environment in inside a warehouse. Um, the ultimate the goal of all this was to be as smart as we could be about what would happen when it was finally installed on the ship. The follow-on to that was then to actually design and build the crane, uh, the technology demonstrator crane, and put it on a ship to then test it at sea. We did at sea testing in the Gulf of Mexico in May 2010. We were there out for a week. Uh, we had Flickertail State and the Cape Texas, another, another ready reserve status ship from MARAD working with us. We moored and fendered in the Sea State 3 conditions successfully, safely, with a, a strong effort by both ships crew to make sure it was safe. And then proceeded to do uh, cargo transfers between the ships. 
with really no hiccups. It was phenomenal. We took on a, a really an unbelievable challenge and learned a lot and did something really amazing with this uh, technology. As a group, implemented it on a ship in a place that Crane wasn't supposed to be and demonstrated uh, capability that didn't previously exist. It's, uh, it's quite exciting.